This is D12 TV for Luke Shisha Dead number 13, I believe now. Uh, this video is going to be uh, starring a gold star. This is actually not even tobacco this time, guys. This is actually gold star herbal. This stuff is actually made with tea leaves, not actually with tobacco. And this is the uh, passion fruit flavor. This is what we're gonna break out and uh, put it in all of them. Give me a second here. Container, and there we are. Here is the product of much labor. And since this is only me, I'm going like for the half size bowl, this size type of bowl, because it's a pretty large bowl, so I'm not going to give myself too much here. Just enough to get a good smoke going. Right a little personal deal here. Alright, we'll put our screen on top. Like I so. And take our whole unit and bring it down. Right here, where you are, stem. I notice for some of these hookahs, it's like you just want to press, press it down onto the stem so it just slides it right on. Others, it's like a little different where you got to do something else. They almost screw it on, almost screw this. Thing on the hood. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Alright. And let's hope the log doesn't go rolling around like it has in previous videos, I believe. <laughs> At least with this skull hookah. We've had this issue. Yeah. So, I'm going to set this down one second as I clasp this thing shut. So, I'm going to do this. If you had noticed when I first started this video, uh, you probably noticed uh, all the way to the right there was the icicle piece for the inside of the hose. And you would be right to have uh, pointed that one out because it's a, it is, for me, an essential piece to my smoking experience. To actually have a nice cold hit. I'm doing right now. Put this up. So now we got it clasped shut. And now it's just time to smoke. You know, the difference for me when it comes to this is the fact that I'm not getting a nicotine high at all when I'm smoking this stuff. It's basically just now, okay, now you're going to sit here and you're just going to smoke it for the sake of smoking something. Uh, you're going to smoke it probably for the taste, which is pretty much the reason why I started smoking it in the first place. I thought, okay, I'm... I know there's nicotine in this, I know I'm going to get addicted to smoking it because of the nicotine, but I like the taste anyway. It tastes like chocolate, I love the taste of chocolate. 
at Alpha Cures Chocolate, I will always, I will always hold true to my heart and to my palate. So it is, it's just that, it's just that type of shisha. You just you don't forget it. And ever since I started smoking the hookah, it's uh. It's just been that type of experience where it's almost like a uh, a temple type of experience. You know, you're, you get yourself into the situation where, and I'm actually killing that fan. You get yourself in this whole situation where you got got yourself uh, sitting here. You know, sometimes even on a pillow. And, You start coming up with things like rolling, like uh, you know, rolling your your mouth around and and forming those rings and making those rings and doing different sized ones and trying to do a bunch of little tiny ones, doing ones out of your nostrils, all kinds of goofy shit, right? Right. I think all of those of us who have smoked hookah at one point or another and definitely those of us who smoke smoke on a fairly regular basis would probably agree that doing the the ring making a lot of times with smoking is also has to do with like I don't know in my opinion, it has to do with the breathing techniques and the whole thing behind that. It's a meditation. It becomes a meditation. in there I was actually last night I was actually uh, smoking some of this same same stuff and because uh, you know you, you go ahead and you, you go out and you buy I go out and I buy some of this stuff and it's in a 200 gram container so it's like yeah I'm gonna be smoking um, for a while you know because it's just me smoking it I need to have a guest star though. I believe I will have to start ha having guest stars on the show. Uh, if I can, I'll, I'll try and cut on a few of them into, you know, hanging out with us here on YouTube. Maybe I'll have to have a specific subject set up for the conversation or something, you know, who knows, maybe something Fallout related or you know, some of the problems that make me sound sound like I'm, I'm a uh, tool of Bethesda. Uh, you know, hey, that's just the way it goes, I guess. It's either that or, you know, people thinking that I'm probably, like, one of the biggest goofy nerds uh, in, in the known universe, which is probably true. When one of your goals in life is to do a cosplay, yeah. <laughs> and I've seen many of them out there on the internet. I actually have a few friends on Facebook. Who are cosplayers, and I, I, I gotta give them props. They know what the hell they're doing. They, they're not playing any games at all when it comes to cosplaying. These people that I know, it's, it's not a joke. It, this is an art. It, this, it's, 
damn art. Sure, I'm, you know, it's, it's probably the greatest fun playing out the role of the character that you're just dressed up as. I'm sure that's probably the biggest fun. That's probably the biggest uh, upside for them. But yeah. I know it would be for me to, to get to walk around and just pretend for a, a few moments, you know, that you're from that world, from that other universe, the, the one that's not ours. foreign thing we don't know about it. Yeah, so this is a D12 TV, Fluke Shisha Den number 13, um, September, I, I can't even remember, I think it's the 22nd today or something like that. Oh man, it's just getting closer and closer to October, guys. Yeah. It's not going to be too much longer, Halloween's going to be coming over. Oh man, oh man, this is, this is why I was talking about costumes. Because the costumes are already out on the shelves at Walmart and probably all kinds of other places. Oh man. It's just nuts. Kids are going nuts. I'm going nuts. And I'm, I'm seeing stuff over at Walmart like bags of bags full of little skulls and shit for a few bucks. And I'm like, man, that could be fun. <laughs> So we'll see what old D12 TV comes up for next month, you know, in October. But for right now, you know, it's we're, we're just hunkering down and you know keeping things, keeping keep it keep it separated, you know. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, if you like this video, um, share it, um, tell your friends. Uh, you uh, this interested you at all in hookah? Uh, you have any questions for me about hookah and about smoking hookah and you know what, what health risks? If you want to talk about that too, that's fine. Um, I'm perfectly okay with talking about that type of stuff and debating that with people. Um, it's part of being a smoker, you know, to be able to actually say, "Hey, this, this is why I do it," and you know. It's a perspective, just like anything else in life. So it's like you either you either deal with it, or you don't. You, you know, you either a smoker, you're not. Um, and you you know, you're either a cool person that actually can actually take the time to hear somebody talk and actually listen for a change. Uh, so uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. Anyway, this is a D12 TV for Luke Shisha Den number thirteen, uh, September. 22nd 2018 and it's mm, probably about 7.30 this morning uh, I don't always do morning uh, morning episodes for Lucy sometimes it just feels right to do it in the morning you have the there's great natural lighting being involved in this room right now not just it wasn't just Mainly the light from the sun. It's just wonderful to use for the camera. I noticed. So that's why a lot of times I like doing the morning shows better than the evening ones. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is D12 TV for Luke Shizu number 13. Uh, you know, give me your comments. Uh, you know, shoot them down there. I'll go ahead and respond as, uh, to my best ability. And, uh, Probably be back fairly soon for another episode. Maybe get some other stuff that's terrible. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
I know I've seen mango and some other stuff that I've smoked before, even double apple, uh, two, two apples or double apple, I think is what it's called. Um, I have that there. Uh, you know, hey, actually, that's a thing, too. Perhaps, then, what I could do is create a poll, and then you guys could go ahead and uh, decide for me, uh, help, or help me decide. Uh, I'll go over to the shisha store, I'll go ahead and, and find out what they have, and then you guys pull it, and make a decision. But I don't know if there's enough of you to make that difference at this point. Hmm. I haven't really paid attention to how many of there are there actually are of you who actually watch these videos. I don't know. I don't keep track. Sorry. I just do them as if I have a hundred people sitting here just having to watch my goofy looking face. So. Anyway, this is D12 TV for Luke Shisha Den number 13. Uh, gold Star Herbal. Not Gold Star Tobacco. Um, passion Fruit. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, or a side, or some other kind of weird, you know, gesture, maybe. Uh, yeah, you know, emote, emote icon it, you know, do whatever you want, you know, emojis and all that other crazy crap, do it. Um, I'll be here to watch and just sit there and point and laugh, you know, that's what I do, usually. Alright, peace out.